Thanks for dropping in. It's nice to see you again if you're returning. This time I'm looking at three microphones, all from Newer or Newer. The first one here I have is an NW800. The second one I have an NW700. And the third one I have is a bit difficult to get, but still around just about is an NW7000. Now I'm all for cheap audio, but how cheap can you go before the audio just isn't worth having? This is the NW700 and this retails at the moment at £12.99. The NW800 is maybe a step up at £16.99. I can't believe these microphones are just so cheap. The NW7000 is no longer available on Amazon just as a microphone. I bought mine for £17.99 um, and you can't, you can't buy it just as a microphone anymore but you can buy it still as part of a kit where it comes with an arm and I think it's about £20.99 something with the arm. So all three of these microphones are the cheapest condenser microphones I've seen around. So we're going to take a look at what they sound like and how they measure up against anything else. This is the spec sheet for the NW700 and this is the spec sheet for the 800. They're both exactly the same if you look, both front and back. So that makes me wonder how accurate are these things that are written on here. So what they're saying about the microphones is they're a super cardioid condenser microphone. So they're supposed to be super cardioid. And then underneath, it's got directivity, omnidirectional. So um, I don't get that. Well, if you can believe what you see, there's the frequency response chart of the microphone. Mainly because I don't really trust the spec sheet that much, to be honest, if they're both the same. Well, then what's the point of having one more expensive than the other or whatever, a different model? I don't see the point because they all look virtually the same. Um, the 700 and 7000 look virtually the same microphone and yet the 800 is just done with a round, a round top rather than a flattened out top. Um, but because you can't trust those figures, um, the only way you can tell whether these mics are any good is just try them and see, what, see if they work. Um, at that price level, it's not surprising, is it really? <laughs> this is the sound of the newer NW700. This one retails at an amazing £12.99. I can't believe the price. £12.99 for a, a microphone like this. It will get someone into the hobby of recording and getting some better audio, let's say, uh, for, their, for their videos, or even if you want to do a podcast. The only thing is, is the sound, I wouldn't say, is a high-end sound. Um, all of these microphones, the uh, NW series, they do lack a little bit in the bass in comparison to other microphones. And they're not quite as refined sounding, which means probably the, the true response graph is probably a little bit wiggly up and down all over the place because it's uh, it can get a little bit gritty I think the paperwork says that it's omnidirectional and then somewhere else it says it's a cardioid well it is actually a cardioid because this is the 700 from the front this is the 700 from the side this is the 700 from the rear back to the side and now I'm back to the front so you can see that um, at least you know for 12.99 you do get a reasonable sound, as I say. Not a high-end sound, but you can't expect much more for that kind of price, I don't think. This microphone is the newer NW800, and it retails on Amazon for just £16.99. It's £4 more than the NW700. I don't know why, because um, the paperwork uh, for both is exactly the same. So I can't see why they sell two microphones just four pounds apart. Probably at this price level as well, the quality control isn't quite as good maybe as some other microphones, but um, it's, a, it's a good price, a very good price. So this is the NW800 from the front. This is the NW800 from the side. This is the NW800 from the rear. Then we're back to the side and we're back to the front again. Again, they get the job done. They're cheap. And if you want to get into microphones, getting it closer and just improving the sound from your camera, they will work. But as I, I'll repeat, they're not really high-end sounding microphones. They don't have the depths of the bass and they're a bit ragged, I think, at the top in spite of what the graph shows. The other thing with these microphones is the noise level from them is slightly higher. I'm always sus I don't like to do noise tests because we're all using different equipment which hisses at different levels etc but just to have a listen this is the sound of the uh, the noise floor from this microphone which is going into a Tascam preamp straight into my camera
Now that might not be a massive sound floor for you. Um, it depends on what your preferences are. But when I compare these directly with my better microphones, they're definitely a little bit more noisy at the bottom, at the, at underneath your speech there. But you know, for £16.99, what can you expect really? This microphone is the newer NW7000. All of these microphones, by the way, come with a shock mount. The only thing is that I have found that all three of these microphones do have a ring in their sound. So if you bang the mic or, or tap it, um, you're going to get a pitch. Now, if I tap it now, you'll hear. Now, all of the microphones produce that pitch, that kind of pitch. There are different pitches, but they all ring like that. Whether that mixes with your voice when you speak into it, I'm not quite sure. But um, it, normally with a microphone, if you tap them, they just thump and that's about it. You don't get a pitch. So um, this is uh, only available as part of a kit. And this is the NW7000 from the front. NW7000 from the side. And this is from the rear. Back to the side. And I'm back to the front again. For me, this was a fantastic bargain because it's so cheap. You don't worry about taking it outdoors even and using a, a condenser mic um, out uh, on the on the decking or whatever. The only thing is, as I said before, is that with all of these microphones, they are very, very cheap. Quality control might not be the best. And certainly they're not... They haven't got the depth of, of a good microphone. They haven't quite got that depth. So these really budget cheap microphones, they do actually work. Oh, by the way, I'm back on the road now and um, they do work and um, they're useful, I think, to some people. Although their sound isn't in the same league quite really as a, an Audio Technica or as a Rode. They just haven't got that depth of sound. Then again, at that ridiculously low price, it's hardly surprising, is it really? So all three of these mics are not really what I would recommend for serious audio. Spending something like £41 on a T-Bone, this is the SC400, is probably a better buy. This gets you a lot more in terms of audio quality and gives you a super cardioid pattern. Also, better bass reproduction as you can probably hear. For me, this is one of the best budget mics around, the T-Bone SC400. So you've got something there for £12 something going up to £41. They all work. This one for me is the best real budget buy. Um, below that, they're a little bit uh, compromised, but they're useful for taking outdoors if you're not worried about uh, then breaking them or dropping them or whatever. At least they're cheap. So on an extremely low budget, you can at least capture reasonable audio using the newers. Out of the three of the newers, I prefer the NW7000 basically because it's got a slightly better bass reproduction, although its bass is nowhere near as good as this one. I think between the 700 and the 800, they both sound almost exactly the same. So maybe the spec sheets are correct. They do suit both microphones, which makes you think, well, why do they uh, make one for £12 something and another one for £16 something? Because actually they're the same microphone. They sound very similar to me. So in that case, I would just choose whichever is uh, the cheapest. They serve a purpose and I think that's about it. They do pick up um, a clearer audio than the, uh, the camera would. So in that respect, at least you are improving your audio for very, very little money. For me, the winner is the NW7000, only available, I think, in the UK at the moment as a kit with an arm, but it's a good deal, £20 something, a great deal. But ideal, if you're on a budget and you want to go up a bit more to £41, the T-Bone SC400 is superb for the money. If these videos are useful to you, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button, even better, hit the like button, even better, hit the bell and uh, then next time I make a video you'll get a notification. Thanks for watching, cheers for now.